Hi friends, I'm Jennifer from Decor Sauce and today I'm going to be doing a, just a quick little project for you on how to DIY a dog necklace like the one you see on my Little Miss Pip here. I actually purchased this on Amazon and I added the little bell to it because my little Pip is tiny and I wanted to know where she was. But I then had one break and I, I fixed it myself and I was like, well this is crazy. Why am I just buy why am I buying these on Amazon when I can make them myself? So um, I'm going to be making one with you today and I know this is a real super easy project and not one that necessarily requires a DIY tutorial. but. I was making one anyways and I thought I might as well video it because maybe I can inspire you to make one too. Maybe you've never even thought of it. You saw the one that she was wearing and I would have continued to order the ones that they have on Amazon except for they only have it in three colors. What I was looking for was something for Halloween and for um, Christmas and I just want to say before I get started that these are necklaces only. They are only meant for ornament. They are not for um, attaching a leash to. I. Being that she's a small dog, I never put a leash around her neck because little dogs have sensitive tracheas. The supplies you're going to need are you're going to need just a few very inexpensive supplies. This is Stretch Magic. It is a um, it's a cord. It's it's a little bit stretchy and it's clear. We're going to be using some beads that we bought online, and I'll put the links to all the stuff in the description box so you guys know exactly what it is that I'm using. If you don't want to buy beads and you have like an old necklace at home, like this is one that was broken. It doesn't have to be new, it can be just whatever you have and the Stretch Magic is as little as like three bucks. So you can really make a ton of these for your dog for really not a lot of money. So the hardest part about the project is determining the length that you need for your dog necklace. I'm going to use about eight inches of this. Now if you have a bead that has a wider hole cut in it, you can actually double up your strands of Stretch Magic or this is actually one millimeter size which is on the thicker side. If you have a thinner, um, if you have a thinner Stretch Magic cord then you can put more strands in it and it just adds to the overall durability since it is going on a dog and they do scratch. Now you can tape the end of this down to your work surface if it makes it a little easier if your beads will get away from you. dog necklace I'm going to be using these spacers they have two holes in each side of the bead allows you to make a double strand necklace As you saw by the footage, I was able to make several, just like this one, out of a couple of packs of beads and one package of Stretch Magic. So for about six dollars, I was able to make this, this necklace, this necklace, the one my dog is wearing, and then also this black and white one. And I have plenty of beads left over. It's a fun project. It's a good rainy day thing. It's kind of like working a puzzle where your mind just zones out and you just bead these necklaces. And um, if they break, it's no big deal because it's really not expensive to fix it. So. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I know it's different from my regular stuff that I normally release, but I figured I was doing it, so I might as well show it too. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video or my channel in general and you found it helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my new content. Thank you so much for watching and have a happy DIY.